Hey guys, Bilingual Duelist here and this video is part 2 of my April 2023 card hunt. So if you haven't checked out part 1 yet, check the link in the description box below. And if you already have, let's continue with part 2. Enjoy! Alright guys, here we go, another card hunt. Yeah, basically the same card hunt but part 2. And as you can see, a beautiful day here in Akihabara. And yeah, I actually couldn't really stop filming because everything looks so nice in Japan, right? I mean, I'm in Germany now for, I don't know, one week and yeah, everything looks so nostalgic already. I want to go back, uh, really, I'm missing Japan already. And first of all, guys, this is Hobby Station. Um, it's a small hobby station. We had one in uh, the Radio Kaikang as well. We didn't go there today. But this is the smaller one and I really like to come here. You see a lot of people also like to come here because yeah, they have a few storage corners. I will show them to you in a little bit here. And they also have a couple of cards here and I feel like the prices are a little bit cheaper than in the Radio Kaikang because probably this place yeah, is smaller, it's far away from the station area and therefore prices drop a little bit. At least that's a possibility. Let's have a look at the storage corner here, but I am not willing to spend a lot of time here today because there's still so many other places I want to go here. So just a quick check and yes, nothing really too exciting for me at least. Maybe you saw something and all of these cards, by the way, are I think about 10 to 20 yen. So they're literally free, right? I mean, a couple cents for even hollows they had there. So yeah, really nice place to go. So yeah, that was an example of a place where I usually can't film, but with the small cam I can at least film something. So yeah, let me know if the quality is good enough guys and yeah, hope it is at least better than nothing, I would say personally. But yeah, let's continue. We are now on the main street and yeah, let's see uh, yeah, how the situation is. And there we go. We came from here and now we are basically turning right. This is the main street. Obviously it's a little early and yeah, there is no maids right now or very few only. But usually uh, there are maids everywhere because there's a lot of maid cafes here. And yeah, if you're in Akihabara, it's actually quite fun to visit a maid cafe. It's not that creepy. I mean, unless you are over 60 and you are there still. Uh, but yeah, it's actually quite funny and yeah, definitely a nice experience if you come to Japan. And let's see, here's my crew. Uh, just kidding guys, not there yet. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Fuku Fuku Toreka, which is coming up right now on the left side, uh, after we yeah, turned left over there, they should be still closed. I think they opened at one, right? I was there once early. And today I'm early again, so we'll go there later. But yeah, just for your orientation, guys. Maid Street, turn left. And there we have it, the same logo as I've just shown you in Rajo Kaikang. And this is actually the place uh, you should go to. So this is the Fuku Fuku Torika, which also has the Asian English Ultimate Rares and so on. But okay, they're still closed. So yeah, let's see where we can go. And there's a lot of places obviously we can go, don't worry. If you ever come here guys, um, obviously watch my top 10 card shops video. There will be a lot of recommendations, but there's so many more places. So um, if you really have time and if you want to really dig into Akihabara, um, don't just go to the 10 places I'm showing. There's way, way more here in Akihabara. And I would say could go here left now but I'm actually going back to the main street here because yeah, I want to check out Card Shop Maggi. The second one now I can finally say. Yeah we have two Card Shop Maggis which is super awesome and yeah I will cut here because yeah I'm just basically walking three more minutes turning left here and then I will take you guys with me again. And I just noticed, guys, there is a new animate over there. 
if you don't know animate animate is basically a big place selling all kinds of anime goods so from mangas to yeah, small I don't know uh, keychains everything and yeah not really into card games but a place you can definitely go if you like anime in general so yeah, it's so crazy guys such a big city and everything uh, uh, no not everything every time stores are closing new stores are opening uh, stores are moving also so it's it looks always different and I mean I'm here like once every four weeks at least uh, the last time I was here is probably just one or two weeks ago and again stuff is changing all the time so yeah, it's really a fun place to come so yeah don't skip Akihabara and you can easily also yeah, use two whole days here it is just that exciting and yeah you can also buy PC parts I completely forgot um, but if you're into gaming uh, which a lot of people watching my channel are probably and um, you can also come here to buy uh, PC parts used obviously and there we go guys this is the main place Maggi let's hope they're opened I will quickly check this floor and yeah they are actually opened always check with google maps and you will know all right everybody we are at card shop magi now ninja cam is rolling as you can see usually card shop magi is quite tolerant with filming but i mean i'm i wanted to film the whole store they changed layout a little bit and i think i've never shown you the whole place so yeah it is always a little bit hard to imagine how a place looks if you just see a couple of single clips here but yeah this time i decided i wanted to yeah basically film the whole place for you guys once so that you know how it looks and i think yeah it is actually quite impressive uh, the place is for japanese circumstances quite big as you can see they have so many showcases they have so many cards and as you can see they also really like to sell graded cards um, short story about the graded card guys they are not actually buying graded cards from you guys or from Japanese people all they do is basically they let people sell their graded cards at their store and obviously they are taking cuts from the sales but you can definitely place some cards there for sale and if they actually sell the cards um, you will get of course the money for the card and I think right now card drop Maggi is charging about five to six percent of the card's value so um, I think that's a pretty pretty nice deal I mean you are able to display your card in Akihabara in one of the best shops and yeah the chances to sell something here is definitely quite high okay guys we are almost finished with the shop tour here and after we are done with the shop tour I of course have some more footage for you guys because I was able to film a little bit more in depth with my other camera and I wanted to talk about a couple items here and there um, obviously there will be a lot of items I will show and I don't have that much time to talk about every single item so if there's anything you're interested in you want to know more about basically you can just let me know in the comment section below I will try to answer your questions there if possible and let's dive right into it so first up guys a few old booster packs from Pokemon base set here prices look pretty decent I would say next up we have a sealed corner here and we have a sealed Asian English LOB box it's not the North American one and the sealed boxes actually fluctuate quite a lot they sell they get new ones etc and yeah there's always something else you can see there of course Asian English ultimate rares guys you see the insane price tags and what I was able to see as well are these very awesome volume series booster packs they had the whole lineup basically which is absolutely crazy to see and yeah I guess you haven't seen it in the store or on even on YouTube that often so yeah I was able to present them again to you guys here and obviously yeah they have the craziest cards guys prize cards tournament cards very limited items old ultimate rares all kinds of stuff and yeah it is just insane how many rare cards are gathered here in card shop Maggi. I mean just look at the sheer amount of blue eyes first gen blue eyes 
Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes and of course Jump Festa as well, crazy. They also have these stainless steel Dark Magician Girls, I have one myself and I can really recommend the item. They really came down in price, they were like at one point at over like 3k and now they are around 1k, a little bit more maybe, at least in Japan locally. You can add your premium for importing on top of that, but I think these are just killer prices guys. And, and you definitely should save up a little bit of money when you come here for shopping in Japan because there is so much stuff you would love to take home with you. And since I'm here for quite a while already, my bank account is telling me I have to go home. But yeah, I, I will stay a little longer guys. I will keep filming and showing you the awesome stuff they have here at Kachop Magi because someone has to do it, right? I have to show you what awesome treasures are hidden here in Akihabara. And right now we are at the Asian English Ultimate Rare Corner. So awesome to see all of these. They also have a Block Oripa Corner as you can see. And Block Oripas, if you are new to the channel, are basically block of random cards. You can't see what is inside exactly. You only know the price and the front and the back card. And it is basically a lottery and most shops use these to basically get rid of their bulk. But they always make sure that you get at least your value uh, in money back. And there is even times where you can actually make some money if you're just uh, there for the value. So if you want to start out a collection, these block oripas are very, very recommended. And a nice thing, a fun thing to do. And I also know that a lot of my personal customers in Germany, they really enjoy these when I make them for them. Okay, and what I was really happy to see is this weird looking slab for most of you guys, I guess. Uh, these are ARS slabs, uh, it's from Japan, it's a new grading service they opened last year in, in the summer times and it is actually the first time I see ARS slab also in card shops in Akihabara which made me really really happy here see one more, the blue eyes from the 20th anniversary and yeah it is just nice to see because I think these are very underrated as of right now they are basically unaccessible from outside of Japan unfortunately because they are so overrun with submissions at this point but you can still buy already graded cards from Japan and I really recommend that you check this out guys. It is so awesome this lab. It is so different to even back it and the quality is insane guys. Here you can see some more crazy Asian English ultimate rares. I mean what can I tell you guys? There's so much stuff <laughs> I, I'm showing you right here. This is actually the Chinese Dark Magician. It is a one of a thousand copy here. We have the Jump Festa Blue Eyes here. We also have the Shonen Jump Lottery Blue Eyes in English. Yeah, it's so crazy guys. Price cards, another Universe Dragon, Dark Magician Girl G311, the rare version. Just so much stuff. All right, guys, next up, let's go to Surugaya. Also a place I really like to go. Sometimes I can find some cheap booster packs there. And yeah, let's see what we can find there. And I tell you guys, it's already so warm here in Japan. It's crazy. Only 22 degrees, but already really warm. And there we are, guys, Surugaya. Second floor is the car place and first floor is, is uh, for yeah if you want to sell figures, cards, whatever you can go to the first floor but we are not selling we are just buying today so let's go to the second floor. Okay guys we are now at Surugaya and yeah they used to do this they use dummies in their showcases to not get sunburn on their cards this is why the cards look a little weird here and definitely pause the video here if you want to check something out in more detail but they also have crazy crazy cards here at Surugaya and as I mentioned guys they sometimes have really cheap booster packs I really like to check them out for that reason despite of that they also have other card games like Pokemon, One Piece and so on so yeah definitely come here spend some time and check out what they have in store for you guys and now we are going back again Okay guys, so it is now again 1 o'clock and we are going back to the Maid Street or we are already on the Maid Street basically and now we are going to Fuku Fuku Torika again, we'll check them out and afterwards of course I'm going to show you the new card rush 
and Dragon Star Place, I promised you guys. So yeah, let's keep going. Alright guys, look at this. Man, my mind was so blown by this. The collection of Asian English Ultimate Rares has grown so much here. So many awesome cards. Cyber and Dragon even. Wow, these are so crazy. All of these secret rares here, by the way, are also Asian English. Wow, they have a nice collection again. If you're in the market for Asian English, definitely pay them a visit. And also a lot of really, really nice sealed boxes, sealed booster packs. Everything is Asian English here. The boxes just now, of course, were not Asian English because these are crazy rare. But the booster packs were. And these booster packs you're seeing here right now, these are all Japanese booster packs but we also have some really really expensive ones here next up guys we have the starlight rare collection here from fuku fuku torica 10k dragon all the charmers you know the drill really nice cards really collectible cards and really expensive and i saw here some very expensive and rare bandai cards as well if you know you know guys and some more ddm dark magician girl promo cards these are basically the only full arts which exist in Yu Gi Oh. really nice cards and they also have a different bag and we have Jump Festa Blue Eyes, not one, not two. We have three Jump Festas here lying around waiting for the correct buyer. We have the G311, but this time it was the secret rare for a crazy 4.5 million yen here. Wow, the prices. And last but not least, I was really proud to see this German trophy here, an Elementar held Phoenix Enforcer as a Summer Cup 2006 prize card. Really nice. All right, guys, this was Fuku Fuku Torica. And now we're back again on the Maid Street here. Finally, some maids showing up here. And yeah, I think really cool items again in Fuku Fuku Torica. Lots of uh, vintage stuff as well. Uh, Asian English Ultimate Rares, obviously. Dark Magician Girl promos, a lot of stuff. And actually quite nice to see that uh, 2006 uh, Phoenix Enforcer like crystal some uh, tournament prize probably and it was german so maybe a german tournament or yeah i have no idea what it is maybe some of you know but yeah really interesting and now we are going to the last two places card rush and uh, dragon star so therefore we are already heading back to the station area and it will get more crowded again guys but yeah i will cut the video here and yeah let's get to card rush and for all you guys uh, who yeah are new to the channel maybe and do not know card rush card rush is one of the biggest card shops here in japan and uh, they also have a huge uh, online sale basically they have a web page where you can buy cards even if you're not in japan so they have like a proxy servers um, it is very expensive though to buy through them so if you can better come here to japan buy here directly but um, yeah if you don't have another chance to buy um, especially since in 2023 so this year um, i'm not able to sell outside of germany unfortunately so if you cannot buy from someone else living in japan it might be uh, the only alternative so yeah definitely worth checking out and yeah let's go to card rush now Okay guys, we are currently on the seventh floor here. This is Dragon Star, not Card Rush. We went to Dragon Star first. And as you can see, a very, very big place, a very modern place. And obviously it is modern because they just opened up a couple of months before, I guess. Maybe it is also even just a couple of weeks. I'm not entirely sure here, but everything looks brand new here. And again, we are filming with the ninja cam to not get noticed here, guys. There's so many people here. If you film here, it would also be a little bit of a disturbance for all the other customers just want to hang out and look at cards. So I totally can understand that they don't want tourists to film inside of the stores. But I think with the ninja cam, we can justify filming a little bit and making also a little bit of PR for them because that's what I'm actually doing here on the channel, right? So win-win for both of us. Because since Japan opened up their borders again, there is so many people messaging me on Instagram and asking for certain places. So I'm actually doing quite a good job of promoting these places. So yeah, they definitely should allow at least me filming here, right? <laughs> 
in the back here of the store you can also see that they have a lot of seats here you can duel here you can open booster packs displays you just bought here in the store or just hang out with a couple of friends playing some card games occasionally they will also do some tournaments here because you also see that there is quite a lot of people already lining up for the next tournament it's not just Yu-Gi-Oh! it's not just pokemon you can play vanguard here you can play one piece here you can play even dragon ball i think and a lot of people are just coming here on the weekends or after work to hang out and play a little bit of TCG here. The collection of Dragonstar is actually quite big. As I already mentioned, they have a lot of different card games. Card games I even don't know myself, but they literally have everything and it is very close to the station. So it is definitely a no brainer to come here, check out some cards and definitely look at the huge inventory they have here. And this is basically how Dragonstar looks guys. It is so awesome. It is such a modern place and therefore it might also take a little bit of time to actually get into the store because there's only one or two elevators for the whole building but it is definitely worth coming here and if you're brave enough you can also take the stairs to the sixth or seventh floor it is definitely possible i did it in the past already final words guys definitely check dragon star out it is worth every minute of climbing up to the seventh floor okay uh, next up we are going to card rush it is one level above or below dragon star i'm not entirely sure right now but let's check out card rush right now okay guys and there we are already i went up with the stairs this time no need to take the elevator for just one level and we are at the sealed collection of pokemon i guess here <laughs> from card rush yeah the same layout than uh, dragon star because it's only one level difference and all the levels basically have the same layout and as you can see guys they went with the exactly same layout here a lot of showcases left and right everywhere you look there is just cards and also for card rush they have basically all tcgs so if you're in the market for some not so popular or not so known tcgs i think there might be a pretty decent chance you will find the cards you're looking for in card rush or dragon star and since both of these places also have online websites there are japanese though this is the small caveat to them but you can also try to order cards because when i was actually here i didn't film it i was looking for some cards from the rarity collection a quarter century edition a huge set a really nice set for collectors and players and they didn't have the cards i wanted so i just went online and ordered them from the store they basically have a different warehouse where they are like storing cards and selling cards and managing all the online sales as well you can definitely do so and you will be most likely to find something on the online store on the back of the store again they have this playing area tournament area whatever you want to call it and you can also just go there hang out with your friends open some packs play some duels but obviously and i have to tell you guys at some point there is certain manners you should keep in mind when you're playing here or even if you just come here to japan as a tourist and the reason why japan is such a unique social polite and clean country is because people really do care about their surroundings and also the people around you you will rarely see people doing things that might affect others like screaming out loud in public, leaving trash or playing loud music. And if you visit Japan, I beg you, don't be that person not giving a shit just because everybody around you is nice and smiling at you. You are representing the country you are coming from for the Japanese people. So always keep that in mind. Be a better version of yourself if you have to. Alright guys and now we are at the station again where everything began and now we are also at the end of our car turn today and yeah guys what do you think about the new car to rush if you know the old one it's insane right there's they have so much place now and they are doing tournaments and also dragon star the place we went first and um, also really really big place a lot of cards and yeah as i already told you guys you can also buy from them online if you want to yeah good all right i think that's everything i had for you guys today i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did of course subscribe to my channel like and comment on the video and we will see us very soon in a new video your bilingual duelist ciao